Okay guys, you can blame this video on Matthew. Um, because we did this, this kind of similar question in class and he was saying, well, okay, why is why are the answers the way they are? And I kind of said, well, because they are. And to be fair, he had a point. A, a good teacher doesn't say things like that. So here am I making up for my lax teaching earlier. And I'm going to explain how to deal with a question like this in full detail. So let's take a moment to have a look at what the question is. It's talking about a random variable, which is a binomial variable. Um, it's got an n, so 40, and then it's got a p of 0 0.1, 0 0.10. And we're asked three separate questions, which we'll take one by one. Find the largest value of k such that x less, the probability of x being less than k is smaller than 0 0.02. Find the smallest number such that the probability of x being larger than r is less than 0 0.01. And finally, Sorry, finally, um, the probability of being between x and r, once we worked out what x, sorry, not x, probability of k, probability of being between k and r, once we know what k and r actually are. I hope that makes sense. Um, I apologise for that less than fluent reading there. Okay, so let's take these on one by one. Okay, okay, so here's number one. We've got here p probability of x being less than k is less than 0 0.02. And we can't really use the tables or the calculator in that way. We know that it has to be less than or equal to. So if we're less than k, we're less than or equal to k minus one. That makes sense. If we're less than four, we're less than or equal to three. Yeah, just common sense. Um, once we get that from the table, being less than 0 0.02, if you go to the table for 40 and 0 0.10, you'll see there's only one value that's less than 0 0.02 and that's zero itself. So we have, k minus 1 equals 0, rearrange k is 1, okay? So where did that, that get come again from? That k minus 1 is equal to 0 because there's only one probability that does what does that, is less than 0 0.02. The next one's I think, 0 0.08, if I remember correctly. So we pick the 0. We know that k minus 1 equals 0, so therefore k has to be 1, okay? I hope that first one is making sense. Okay, second one now. We're looking for the smallest number r, such that the probability of x being larger than r is less than 0 0.01. It's the same distribution. What have we got here? We've got an x greater than, so we know we're going to have to do a 1 minus. If x is greater than r, that's 1 minus p is less than or equal to r is 0 0.01. Rearranging that by subtracting 1 for both sides, we get minus p. x is less than or equal to r is less than minus 0 0.99. Times in 3 by minus 1 you get the line beneath it, and you remember that if you multiply an inequality by a negative number, then of course um, the inequality switches around, that's why it's the way it is. So again, going back to our column in the table, we see that 8 is going to be um, 0 0.9841, and then finally 9 is 0 0.9949. So we want to be greater than 0 0.99, so 9 is the one we pick here. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If we pick 8, it will be too small. We need to be bigger than 0 0.99, and 9 is the one that does that. Okay, so we've got our two numbers now for part C, and part C is the thing we're going to do next. We know that part A was, I think, well, I think it was 1, wasn't it? I'll check. I'll go back. Okay, so let's have a look at part C. Well, definitely was right about that. It was 1. So now we're looking for the probability of being between 1 and 9. So the first part's easy. Obviously, it's like probability of being less than or equal to 9. But... Why is it probability less than or equal to zero? Now, we've covered this before. That inequality above is all the probabilities of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we want to keep 1 inclusive in there. So we take the probability of 9, of 9 or less, and we, we subtract from it the probability of 0. Okay? Which is, well, we would say 0 or less, but just means 0. That will give us the answer we're looking for. If we did the probability of 1, we'd be removing something that should rightly be inside the inequality. So you do 0 0.99.49 minus 0 0.0148, you get 0 0.9801. I hope that all makes sense to you. And that's that, I think. And thank God for that. No more binomial. If you do have more questions, drop me an email or do you have suggested topics. I've been getting a few suggested topics. I've got one really funny one for um, induction for the further maths guys. But I want to actually make sure that anyone's actually watching that before I make that. All right. Stay cool. Have a good one. Bye.